Alright, what up YouTube? It's me again. Uh, um, this is a Nissan 350Z I bought. I've already made two videos on it. This is part three of the Mouseful Collar project. Um, so far, I got the new plugs in. Uh, I'm waiting on new valve covers because apparently the valve covers the problem I had was oil leaking around here started to leak here but all these spark plug tube seals inside these valve covers were hard and brittle and I've learned now on any Nissan, don't matter if it's a 3.5, 2.5, or the 5.6 Nissan Titan. If it's got this type of valve cover on it, plastic, and you got an oil leak, if it's around here, you can go ahead and replace the gasket. If it's around here, you might as well purchase a brand new valve cover. I had to purchase a brand new set. Uh, of course, rockauto.com. I'm waiting on them from. Uh, I had one breakage there and one breakage there when I was trying to pull the seals out and come to find out the seals are metal with a rubber coating on it and a little spring around the tube seals. So. Anytime they go bad, you're going to need to replace the whole valve cover. 120 bucks a piece. RockAuto.com um, I got the front cap pulled off the front right now. Because um, in my last video, if you have seen the uh, front bumper reinforcement, it's made of aluminum. It's bent right there. You can tell where it got hit. Uh, previous guy must have ran into somebody, but uh, apparently it's bad enough to rupture these headlights in the seams somewhere. And of course, he didn't put fender wells back in, so anytime it rained, got water inside the headlights. They was working when I bought the car, and when I was driving home, I noticed. My turn signals will work and my high beams will work, but everything else wouldn't. Running lights, the low beams. So I'm thinking the water probably fried this somehow. Because it does have HIDs in it. And that's from the factory. So, but uh, yeah, I got the front bumper tore off. Front bumper's good. It's sitting over there. Um. I got the front cap. Uh, I got a set of new headlights coming and a uh, new bumper reinforcement. Aluminum, of course, that's coming. Uh, these little plates, they're not too bad. But uh, yeah, I had to put the other parts on hold because, of course, they're, like everybody, I got to pay bills. Um, also, my last video I mentioned that I had to I'm having to replace this because the insides were brittle and dry rod so I'm going to have to get a new one of these so I can open it up from the outside because uh, my wife had a hard time getting in it I had to open it from the other side but it's coming together slowly but surely uh, after I get the valve covers in, I'm going to go ahead and put them on. Uh, new spark plug tube seals. Now I'm going to wait on the polonium gasket. Throw that on there. And uh, whenever I get my can of power foam in, if y'all heard my last video talking about a can of power foam from Amsoil, uh, I'm going to do a video on how to run power foam through your engine clean all the carbon out, carbon build up, your combustion chambers, your valves. Um, what I'm gonna do different on this one before I put the intake on, 
I'm gonna spray a little bit in these first two cylinders. I got these rags in here to keep the bugs out. But uh, I'm gonna spray some in these first two intake runners for cylinder one and two. Just a little bit, let it sit. So you can try to eat the carbon up a little bit while I'm putting it back together. But uh, as you can see, uh, car's in pretty good shape. And bother washing it, all this wet sand dust and everything. Uh, in case some of y'all are wondering, this is your power steering cooler. I thought it was an old cooler at first, but it's not. It's a power steering cooler. And this uh, radar support. If you ever break it, like in an accident, or if it gets broken in an accident or something, the good news about this, you can actually unbolt it. It's not welded like most cars. In most cars I've come across, they're welded. And that's my black 08 Nissan I was telling y'all about I ran a can of power foam in it a few miles picked up power picked up idled smoother so and that one I'm fixing to sell or trade whichever one but anyway I'll uh I'll post another video probably in a couple weeks or uh a couple of days actually when I get my valve covers in I'll show you all the progress on this project. Of course, you can see how wide the tires are. You can actually see the little humps better. See, it's got little humps in the tires. That's what makes them make that loud ass noise. But anyway. Well, just want to give you an update. It's, it's, it's coming together. Slowly but surely. I've actually had a couple people tell me I need to put a dry kit on here, dry nitrous kit, but I don't know. I'm going to see how the car acts stock first. So, all right, till then, see y'all next time.